Hello, and today I'll be showing you guys how you can make a commission sheet, basically, for free. I'm here on Photopea, so it will be at no cost. It's a free website. You can go on it and make your own after seeing this tutorial. It's photopea.com, and it's free to use. It's basically like Photoshop, but free. It has a lot of the same features, and it's pretty easy to learn. But today I'll be showing you how you can make a commission sheet in case anyone was wondering like what their commission sheet could look like or how they should make one but I'm here in Photopea and I'm gonna be showing you guys how you can make a commission sheet and also if you're in need of any icons or thumbnails for your Roblox game or you need thumbnails for your YouTube channel make sure you join the GFX Comet design server and create a ticket and then we'll be able to uh, deliver whatever you need and um, yeah so let's get into it um, right here I have a bunch of icons and thumbnails made by me uh, they aren't really like proper GFX I guess it's more of like a click baby style that's become pretty popular nowadays um, for games but the first thing I want to do is create a background so right now I don't think I will need um, I don't think I will need these these thumbnails for now so I'll just put them in a folder there and hide them and then what I want to do is actually I'm gonna do the same actually I can I can I can keep um, I can keep this folder here and um, just group it into this actually I think I okay <laughs> um, Okay, we're not going to use the icons and thumbnails one, but we're just going to duplicate this folder, which is basically the same thing as the one you see on the screen right here. And we're going to hide one of them so that we have this folder to use for the background. And we'll still have like everything else to use, uh, hopefully. Okay, yeah. Um, so I'm just going to use the icons because it's easier to like put in a background I guess and we don't have that many icons but we can just duplicate them I don't think it'll be that big of a deal um it's just I'm trying to figure out how to position these okay I just do this scale it up a bit and then you can duplicate it and then like that and obviously actually wait I need to move that to the top and obviously um you don't just want the colors being out so we're going to have to you know, darken this a little bit so um it doesn't take the attention away from the actual commission sheet actually don't know if i can uh might have to put this in another folder actually okay i could just do that and then color overlay and we're gonna fade it a little bit like this um actually probably we can fade it a little more uh, that should be good and then once we have that we won't need this folder at all so I'm just gonna move it to the bottom and then we still have all of our icons and thumbnails here actually let me go ahead and just scale this icon up a bit you know whatever we'll just we'll just leave it the way it is for now it's, it's good enough um, okay So we still have all of our icons and thumbnails right here and this is what's actually going to be our commission sheet. So first of all these are too big we're going to have to get the prices in here with like text so there's no room for text right now so right now we're just going to first I'm going to scale down these icons a little bit. I think we're going to add a stroke to those as well um, but we'll just do this for now. Um, yeah that should be fine. Uh, it's basically just a standard commission sheet there won't be anything too crazy about it uh, we can have our thumbnails like this and scale these up a little bit actually move that it's actually kind of annoying to line these up because there's no like lines okay I think this should be good and then I'm gonna move these two a little closer to the icon actually we can separate it I guess that'll be fine and then um, let's add a stroke to all of these um, I see hmm. I gotta 
don't want to do it each individually uh, so I'm just gonna group these into a folder so many folders it's a little messy I could have organized this a little better but let's just make the stroke a little bigger and let's make it oh, that might be a little too big but let's make it white for now and obviously we gotta size that stroke down a little bit um, let's do I mean let's do 12 maybe how's that I think we gotta space these out a little more from those icons right there um, that should be good and then I can move these down a little bit uh oh okay Line this up with that. And then once we have these ready, um, we can actually go ahead and add the text. Actually, first I want to, so much moving, it's a little annoying, but we can keep it like that. And now we're going to add the text for the prices. So let's go ahead and create some text here. Um, we, we're going to have to change the color and all of that. So let me just do that right now. Color overlay. Let's go with white for right now. Okay. Okay. And um, let's pick a different font. Let's go with Burbank. It's like the Fortnite font. And um, where did the text go? Okay, let's let's create the text and we're gonna say thumbnails. Let's say 4K Robux. And now obviously you can't see that text yet, but we're going to scale it up here in just a second. And I actually gotta recolor it because I believe it is a new piece of text right here. So color overlay, hit that and uh, we gotta change the so it's not faded. I'm um, not sure why it's coming up as gray. Oh, oh, it, okay, I get it, I get it. I don't know why it moved down to the bottom of the layer, but there we go. We have this text right here. Um, I'm gonna try and color it differently so it's not all white. Maybe we could have like this white and then the 4K Robux price in green, but I'm unsure if. I think we're gonna have to I don't know any other way of doing it other than deleting the 4k text and then duplicating this thumbnails text moving it to the side and then we'll put 4k for robux like this and then we'll color this go with color overlay color it let's color it lime green symbolize robux a bit and it just looks more appealing that way in my opinion so well, we're gonna have that actually I could add a stroke to this uh, let's group it and then add a stroke uh, obviously we don't want a white stroke on white text and it doesn't even look that good on lime green anyway and hmm, that might be too big okay great um, let's, let's just put it to 12 sure and there we go we have that text and now really all that's left is to just duplicate this actually i forgot this isn't even thumbnails let me change this to icons and now i got to change this whole thing which is wonderful and then duplicate move this over here and then change this text to thumbnails move this over a little bit and we might have to scale this down compared to the icons text so you don't want to crowd the space up that much and This should be pretty decent. And we'll just change the price for thumbnails. Let's say, let's say 7K. 
and there I think we're pretty much done I mean if you wanted to you can move these a little bit closer but I mean that was just a quick tutorial I did this in about like 10 minutes obviously I could have been more organized I could have had a plan I just kind of did this off the top of my head so if I had a plan if I was a little more organized probably could have done this like pretty quickly honestly um, as long as you have all of the stuff you're selling pre-made to put on the commission sheet and you already have everything in here, then you should be good. Um, this was just a short little tutorial on how you guys can make a commission sheet. Once again, if you are a game developer or a YouTuber or you just need thumbnails or icons for anything, just make sure to join the GFX Comet Design Discord server. And from there, you can create a ticket and we will be able to assist you. Um, other than that... I'll see you guys next time.